Blue Hippo. Blue Hippo. Blue Hippo. Blue Hippo. Blue Hippo. Blue Hippo. Hey guys, today we're going to take a quick look at how you can install and use the voice recognition engine known as Snowboy on your Raspberry Pi. We'll go over the installation process for getting out it up and running with Python 3, and then we'll take a look at creating custom hardwares for it. The reason that I'm making this video is because the only guides that I could find were using Python 2. I couldn't find any guides working for Python 3, plus they were also using pre-built binaries. This video uses a direct install from the GitHub repository. For this project, I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4, but you can use anyone according to their documentation. Then you'll also need a USB microphone. Just make sure that it is a USB microphone as the Raspberry Pi doesn't accept audio in through the 3.5mm jack. So I have a fresh installation of the Raspberry Pi operating system on my Pi, so let's just jump into it. We're gonna start off by installing some dependencies that Snowboy uses. Then we'll clone Snowboy from the GitHub repository and use the included script to install Swig and then Snowboy. I'll leave a link in the description to all the commands you'll need, one on my website along with a full guide of the process and one on Pastebin with just the commands. Okay, so once I'm connected to my Pi, I'm gonna start off by installing Pi Audio and Socks. Then I'm gonna go ahead and install Lib Atlas. Then I'm gonna clone Snowboy from the Git repository. Now I'm gonna navigate into the script folder, which is where the installed Swig file is located. So I'm gonna install that. So now it's created a Swig folder and we're gonna navigate to that Swig folder. Then we're gonna do dot slash configure. Then we're gonna make. And then finally, we're gonna finish off with a sudo make install. Now at the root of the Snowboy, there's gonna be a folder also called Swig. We're gonna head to the Swig slash Python 3 folder there. Once here, we're gonna do make once again. With that done, we're gonna head over to the examples folder in Python 3. Now in here, we have a lot of different demo files and such, and we're gonna edit the Snowboy decoder file here. So nano snowboy decoder.py. And what we're going to change here is the from dot. So we're going to delete the from dot here. So it only says import snowboy detect. So control X and Y to save that. And that's it. Now you have snowboy installed on your Raspberry Pi. So next up, we want to create a train model for the hardware we want to use. So head over to the snowboy website, log in with GitHub, then head over to the dashboard and click the create hardware button. So I'm going to click create hardware, then I'm going to name it. I'm just going to call it Blue Hippo and as language, I'm going to choose English, then we'll create my hot word. So basically all you have to do here is do as it says. You have to record your voice saying the hot word three times. So I'm going to click record and then I'm going to say the word. So I'm going to say Blue Hippo. Blue Hippo. And I'm going to do it one more time. Blue Hippo. Now we can test the model to make sure it works and you have to adjust the model to test it. So I'm gonna choose male and between 20 and 29, then run the test. Blue Hippo. And you can see it, check in whether or not if it, if it activates a lot, you can change the sensitivity or you can just leave it as it is. So I'm gonna save and download it. And then we'll need to grab this PMDL file and upload it to our Raspberry Pi. So I've connected to my Pi here and I'm just gonna head over to the Snowboy folder, head into the examples and the Python 3 folder. Then I'm gonna take this file, I'm actually gonna rename it. So it looks like this instead. Then I'm just gonna drag it over here. So now that it's on my Pi, let's jump over to the Pi and let's look at the rest of it. 
Make sure your microphone is plugged in and optimally you're using the same microphone that you used in the previous step. Now we'll create a new Python script inside of the Snowboard Examples folder. So I'm just going to do sudo nano and I'm going to call it test.py. So first off, we have to import the Snowboy decoder. We'll do this by typing import Snowboy decoder. Then we'll create a callback function which will get called when the hardware is triggered. So any logic regarding what should happen when your hardware is said out loud, she needs to go inside this function. So I'm just going to have it print a message. Then we'll create a detector variable, which will be a Snowboy hardware detector. Here we'll pass in the path of the PMDL file. I've named mine blue underscore hippo.pdml. Then we'll pass in a sensitivity value. Here you should write what you tested to be most optimal in the previous step. If you get a lot of false positives, you can play around with this value. And lastly, we'll set the audio gain to 1. Then we'll start the detector by calling its start function. So we'll write detector.start and then we'll pass in the function that we want to be called. So here it's detected callback. Now we want to save it and then run it with Python 3. Now you should see a whole lot of information here, but the important thing is when you call out the name of your hardware, something should happen. Blue Hippo. As you can see, it gives you here some information about when the keyword is detected and it'll run whatever code you've written in the callback function. And that's it. That's how easily you can set up Snowboy and use custom voice commands on your Raspberry Pi. So thanks for watching, or should I just say Blue Hippo?